So can you be found? Will you be found? This is the exciting part. Here's where it gets so easy, you're going to get sick. I was talking to people as they're coming in, you know, where are you in your search? Where are you stuck? You know, where are the bumps? Where are the challenges? And they're telling me, and I'm going, oh, I can solve that. Oh, I can solve that. Oh, I can solve that. Go ahead. Pre-recession 2000. Headhunter, stick with me. When you're looking for, when I as a recruiter, I'm looking for a candidate, what am I doing? Well, I'm going, you know, or if I'm, a, if I'm an employer, what am I doing? I'm, go, I'm going to try to eliminate the job. You know, forget it. I'm not going to replace Susan or, or Bob. I'm going to do an internal promotion. I'm going to do a file drawer check down in HR. You know, there may be a box. I've seen boxes. Um, I've had boxes delivered to me. Dave, did you go through these first? No, I'm going to burn them all. <laughs> you know, you ask your coworkers. Maybe you go to HR. You network a little bit. Maybe you throw up an ad. That was pre-2000. Then all of a sudden, along came whoo, social networking. Social networking. This is post-2000. Yep. You've got to be on. How many of you ever found your profile on zoominfo.com? Show of hands, guys. Good. Zoom There's info. A lot of room for improvement there. Um, it's similar. It's where most recruiters turn first, correct? When you're yep. building a list, a short list of candidates to call, zoominfo.com. You probably are there even though you haven't entered uh, information about yourself. Zoom info finds you. You can go in and enter your credit card data. They won't charge you, but they just want to verify your identity. Once they do that, and we're going to show you an example of a Zoom Info page, you can mo modify it. I've gone in, and for some reason, I've got 26 different positions, even though I haven't worked for anybody in 12 years. So what's in there is kind of funny about me. It may be odd and incorrect about you. So you owe it to yourself to go where the recruiters go. Go to Zoom Info and see what's there about you. So here's what happens when I start a search. Last time in town, I was doing a VP search. I'm in town doing a CEO search. How do I start my search? Well, I go to Zoom Info because I got an account. I'm a corporate subscriber, have been for years. And I type in what I'm looking for. And it gives me my list of 100 or 200 guys. So let's call it 100. So I'm going to talk to 100 people for every search. If I don't find my guy or my gal, I'm going to go do the next batch, right? That's the way recruiting works. It's very process driven um, and it's a very exacting science. You with me, guys? Yeah, they're, they're agreeing with me. So I go to Zoom Info, I get my 100 people. I go to LinkedIn next and go, okay, so who's in Zoom Info and also on LinkedIn? Why do I want to know that? I want to know that because if you're in Zoom Info, the technology's put you in probably. If you've gone and actually st stuck your picture in, it, it, it tells me that I know that you know that that record is correct and you own it. That's important for me as a recruiter to know that. So I now know that the, the data is accurate, and you kind of want to be found. If you're on LinkedIn, you definitely want to be found. So I'm taking my Zoom info list, I'm crossing with my LinkedIn list, and what do I have? I have the short list that I call to fill that role. So if you're not in Zoom info, folks, you don't exist. If you're not on LinkedIn, you definitely do not exist. Why? I'm only calling 100 people. If I can't find you on Zoom Info or LinkedIn, yeah, if I really get stuck, I'm going to go and Google me a president. But Googling is so 2005. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> so 2005. <laughs> if you're not Zoomable, you don't exist. So tonight, Zoomable. homework, everybody. Hmm. ZoomInfo.com. Go make sure you're there. If you're not there, put yourself in. Figure it out. So what's Next, 2009? What's, Today, what's, what? MySpace. We'll talk about, we'll not talk about that in a second. Yeah, we're going to get Oh, no, we'll talk about that in a second. So Zoom Info is your homework tonight. Tomorrow is LinkedIn. And we'll, we'll give you all these URLs and how to get there and all that kind of stuff. So, <laughs> yes. How prevalent are is video resumes? Not. None. Dead, gone. Yeah. Unless you're gorgeous. Trust me, sir, you're not. Neither am I, so I'm not offended. <laughs> <laughs> I know your wife tells you something different. Good for her. <laughs> Boys, mine lies to me too. <laughs> Makes me feel good. But here's, a, here's a way to prove how effective video resumes are. That's an excellent question. We'll answer them all at the end. How many of you have ever been forwarded an embarrassing YouTube video? Someone with their pants splitting or, or uh, someone throwing up on the dog or something. Video resumes get forwarded when they're em embarrassing to the person who created them. Those are the kinds of resumes that get seen. It's only negative publicity that I've ever seen. There's a famous case, I won't say it on tape here, but there was a fellow who made a video resume to apply for a big three consulting firm in New York about two years ago. It had about three million hits at last time on YouTube because it was self-serving. 
it was just humiliating for the guy, and he's pretty much unemployable unless he legally changes his name, because three million people in North America think, this guy's an ass. <laughs> so, well, it's he, like Miss America when she answered the question wrong, go. right? Yeah. Right? So that's what it's, so, you know, sorry. So video resume, maybe, but not now. <laughs>